in these problems, we're being asked to find the domain of some square root functions. And remember, the domain is everything that x can be, everything x is allowed to be in a function. When we're talking about square root functions, we do have some restrictions on what x is allowed to be. We can't, without getting into imaginary numbers, which we're not going to get into here, uh, we can't have a negative number pop up under the square root sign. So in this first one where we have f, f of x equals the square root of x minus 3, no negative numbers are allowed to be here in x. So x could be 0 or anything greater. So we can write that as x is greater than or equal to 0. That includes 0 and all the positive numbers. It excludes the negative numbers. So that keeps this square root sign nice and safe. So this is the expression of our domain of this function. Let's look at a slightly different one. Here we have v of x equals the square root of x minus 2, and all of that is under the square root symbol. You have to be careful here. Sometimes the number is outside the square root symbol, and sometimes it's inside, and it makes a difference. Because in this case, um, you can't put a negative value in for x still, but you also can't put in some positive values. If I put in a 1, a positive 1 for x, I would have 1 minus 2 underneath the radical sign here. That would be a negative 1. We can't have that. So the way to think about this is whatever's under the radical sign, in this case it's x minus 2 that's under the radical sign, that has to be greater than or equal to 0. And once we've got this, we just need to do a little bit of simple algebra to express the domain in terms of x. I, I Basically, I just solve this inequality for x. In this case, I need to add 2 to both sides. And I get x is greater than or equal to 2. So all the numbers 2 or greater can be put into this function, no problem. Anything less than 2, and we've got a negative number under the radical sign. All right, let's try one more. This one says f of x equals the square root of x plus 4, all underneath the radical sign. So I'd recommend you take that whole expression, x plus 4, and set that um, greater than or equal to 0, and then solve that for x. So in this case, case I need to uh, subtract 4 from both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So in this case, I can put in some negative values for, for x. If I put in a negative 2 here, I get a 2 under the square root symbol, a positive 2. That's just fine. So in fact, anything greater than or equal to negative 4 works just fine here. And that is our domain. So that's a little bit of work with finding the domain of square root functions.